I'm gonna be signed to the boss now. You know, of course. A spot I say. Any boy who I go on the thing, I put them for No, I can't even check it because I got that on. A spot I would say, we're not going. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to go on the thing. 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 We're not going to so Sean Kingston just do an interview on Radio Cardiff and him updating fans a lot what's going on in his career right now. Boy, Sean Kingston have a lot coming your way for all of the Sean Kingston fans. You see me? And he even addressed the whole situation about Tommy Lee. So the media I try to sabotage Tommy Lee career and any boy try to go around the thing, them foot I go get broke. Boom, so he said, Tommy Lee, a straight up shooter, straight up gangster. That's a question from our listeners on their world. Uh, so, question them. Right, our first question yes, is basically, our regular list, uh, listeners would be interested to know you have a grandson of the great system oper operator and record producer Jack Ruby. You never know, we know what that's yes, A lot of people do not know Jack Ruby's my grandfather. Jack Ruby he produced. produced some serious people like Burning Spears and the Hip Tones. I think you know. Yeah, man. He produced. He produced. Um, also, he produced Bob Marley. Get mm -hmm. Up Stands for Burning Spears. Burning Spears. The Wellers. He produced for uh, a lot of people. He's, he was definitely a legendary guy. guy. Um, one of the pioneers. Yeah, he, he was one of the guys that was in the studio that was like, yo, if he was in the studio. And he would orchestrate everything from the drum piano to the guitar, guitar. I didn't get the chance to meet him, but I guess that's where the talent comes from, you know. So, yeah, big cool. up to Jack Ruby, rest in peace, Tyler Jr. Well, you come from some serious legacy caliber kind of because your father was also a musician with the um, Toasters. So, how would you say that your Jamaican heritage, and particularly your personal music heritage, influenced your music? Um, just being on different, different, hearing different music, music man. And, really being involved in it, you know, like, I was nine years old and the first I ever bought, bought was actually, first actually, uh, the uh, other two was, was Bow Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was 13, I was 13 years old and I bought Bow Wow rap to me. When I heard him rapping, I was like, this little kid rapping, he's young, I said, it gave me inspiration because I was wanting to do music since I was nine. Okay. But I was like, you know, people trying to do music, how many people trying to get out there, out there. All right, so. Sean Kingston even talk about him Jamaica roots. You don't know it look like him love the Jamaica culture and thing. That's why him even come back now and I work on an album named Made in Jamaica. So when you can look out for that album, Sean Kingston even talk about upcoming collaboration with Chronix. Yeah, and him even say him have a collaboration coming out with Jacquier as well. Kes Nambi. And whole heap of things in the pipeline. I think him say him have two albums dropping. So we can look out for that. And me love how Sean Kingston work. Him not just work with dance artists alone. He might go reggae too. I'm keeping clean for the girls that I mean, but big up everybody, man. You don't know you're not on yet. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, yep, yeah, there we go. The boy Kingston, man, say, yo, I keep, 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 keep for the girls, let me know. I be sick, keep it real. Keep and this is, this is family, Ray Reggae, so we definitely have to keep it real. Yeah, exactly. What I am gonna... Do you have any plans to release a one drop, plans to release a one drop or reggae album? Because we, yes. personally, we personally think you are a great yes. singer. Yes, yes. You have the voice for lovers, Rob, yes. so come tell me where you are going. Yes. There's two mixtapes I'm doing. The one called Ninja Make on. And the mixtape tape called Made of Miami. Okay. Those two mixtapes are not one drop, but those two mixtapes are very, very dope. Okay. They have Chris Brown on there. Did you actually Tony bring, because you, know, you know you've got Auntie Neff in the house here, did you bring me a copy of these? But these are not released yet. Okay. These are 85% these are done. But now I got another, I got another project that I'm going to do after I drop these two projects, okay. which is going to be all roots and reggae. That's going to be. I got we are tall. Yeah, man. Me and Chronix are going to do a song, a song on. Oh, Chronix is just over here a couple of weeks ago, as yeah, you man, know. And it's album we've been waiting for chronology for ages, and it only dropped a few weeks ago. Yeah, man, and man, and my, we definitely going to do something, something on the two. Kes Nambi, we're going to do what? Actually, oh yeah, perfect. I just did a song. Actually, I went on the vocals back with Jack Hure. Okay, we yes, like him up, as well. Big up Jack Hure, so. We just have, we just have so much thing out of the works, I will keep it uplifted and cheap. Out of the works, I will keep it uplifted and cheap. Positive, positive, and keep it vibrating, you know? 
like I said, it's a beautiful team, team because to be this, to be still be doing it like 12 years, 11 years, 11 years, and still have a brand and to still you know to you know to own more label and you know discover artists like Torrens and yeah man, and it looked like Sean Kingston have big plans for Tommy Lee career. So make we see what Tommy Lee have for offer and the Sean Kingston label. You see me? Cause in a every live video, in a every interviews, in a in Snapchat, Instagram post, him always a big up Tommy Lee from him signed Tommy Lee. And we see them apart from long time to even before Sean Kingston signed Tommy Lee. So it looked like Sean Kingston really rate the movement and in my feature Tommy Lee new music video we drop I went yesterday yeah the new music video Tommy Lee Tommy Lee new music video Grim Rim Rave music video he produced it as well isn't it he's coming to a lens of YouTube in 10 and I sold him to Interscope I sold him to Interscope for a million dollars and he's big He's huge, and I'm, and I'm thankful for his success. I'm not mad that I let him go. But he was gonna be big. He was gonna be big, and I knew he was gonna be huge. And I could what I I was supposed to do for him. Okay. Interscope is doing a great. Scope is doing a great job. Shout out to Tory Lanez. But other than that, I'm working on Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee is amazing artist. He's in, he's been that's what I'm focused on right now. Now, so big up Tommy Lee. Big up Sparta. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's that's what we're working on. We just working on a lot of you know. I just working on. We just working on a lot of you know. I just bought. Mm -hmm. Um, I just thought I was, I just thought I was Jamaica. It's crazy. I think Tory Lanez is artist soon as well. Yeah, I heard about. Yeah, that. I heard about that. I heard about that. That's my, that's my little bro. He's on my first single. Okay. Crypt tonight. So, um.